Hello YouTube, Chris here, and in this video, I made something that wasn't meant to be made. I built a robot. It passes butter. Watch to the end of the video to see how I made it and whether it actually works. So I was sitting there one day just thinking about butter, as you do, and I thought what better way to pass butter to someone than by using a catapult. Have you ever had the problem where you've got the bread, you put it in the toaster, you've made the toast, but the butter's just too far away? Something like this. Well, that's why I built Bob. Built only for butter. You see, the idea is simple. How can I make an efficient, effective, and generally pretty cool method of getting butter onto my toast without me even having to go pick it up. Eventually it just seemed pretty obvious. Why not pass it to you by means of throwing it at you? Does the job. But how exactly did I make it, you ask? I don't know why God has to make the one day I choose to step out of the house the rainiest day of the year. I forgot the keys, so I have to walk all the way back. I mean, we have a car. We've got dusters, suitcases. We've got a saw bigger than my body. I don't even know what this is. Files. We got even more files. We got even more files. We got every single spanner imaginable. We've got a, we've got a Stanley knife that won't even close. This wood is used for making cupboards, and my dad said not to use it, uh, which is a problem because it seems to be the only wood we have left. Apparently God exists, he answered my prayers. We have a, uh, this. So pretty much what's gonna happen is I found this piece of wood. Now I imagine the base to be more, I don't know, a little bit bigger than this. So it's not, it's not gonna be a very big robot at all. Um, and I mean, most of it's gonna be out of wood. So I don't know if that qualifies as a robot anyway. But, uh, I mean, it's the most I can do. We don't have any wood, we can't go buy wood because, you know, the instant death when you walk out of the house thing. We can't go buy tools because, again, the instant death when you walk out of the house thing. Um, so, so yeah. As you can tell, I don't really do much planning with the sort of, you know, all the lengths and measurements and that sort of fancy side of engineering. I just, uh, I, I just cut it. So this is what I made to begin with, and this is what I made just now. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to get this, and I'm going to get this, and I'm going to go bam, and I'm done. I can't seem to find any of the clamps that I need to use to clamp the wood down. What? So I had them somewhere. Oh, there they are. Unfortunately, as is usually the case, I've been an idiot and I've done something I don't actually need to do. I'm gonna get, so what I was, was doing, was cutting this in half, but as you can see, using a saw isn't the most accurate thing. So what happened was I cut these two pieces, they're not straight, they're not rectangular, they're not the same length, but that doesn't matter, we can do this. So I've done that, done that, put the two together, hold them like that, and you've got a little, little thing that can go up and down like that. So it's properly tightened so it doesn't sort of come off anymore and it's perfectly movable. Push it back. Voila. So I'm making the controller because originally I had a controller and I realised oh we can use this. 
then I realized that we didn't have something I needed for it, so we can't use that. So I'm making one instead, and I'm making it out of this piece of wood, this piece of wood, and this piece of wood. It's done. Well, most of it's done. So this is what it looks like, the controller. And I'm not gonna lie if I didn't say it's probably the worst controller I've ever seen in my entire life, but I've never made a controller. Uh, this is what it looks like. Um, you've got the things to hold on to. Uh, you've got the button here, uh, which is for launching the, passing the butter. You've got the joystick here for going up and down, the little toggle thing. You've got the Arduino in the center, which controls everything. You've got all the wires which fall out of place all the time, which is a bit annoying. Uh, you've got a Bluetooth module up here, which is gonna connect to a Bluetooth module on uh, the butter parser uh, when I've got that all coded up. So this is actually built and it looks really good. I'm not quite sure how, but it works. So here we can see all the code that I wrote. Uh, this is for Bob, for the main parser. You can see that I've, I've set up all the motors that we use for the wheels and for the, uh, for the catapult. We've also got uh, code which reads all the data that the Bluetooth module, which reads all the data that the Bluetooth module is. What the hell am I on about? Let's just say I wrote some code. It does some cool stuff. No one cares. Let's move on. So as you can see, I've got the uh, robot over here and the controller over here and the computer in front of me. Let's see, you go forwards, you go forwards, good. Backwards, works. Left, sorry, left, works, right, works. Now, when you press the trigger button, the one to, well, part, not the trigger, because the pass the butter button, what happens? Well, last time it didn't work, let's see this time. Ah, oh, look at that, fire. Um, yeah, this is really not turned into a pass the butter and more a shoot the butter at you, but it actually works. So, set up is obviously, you've got the catapult, you turn it back, you push it underneath the motor, and you're set up to fire. There we go. Now, you plug in your power on both the remote control and the car. So, let's see, I go left, I go left, I go right, goes forwards, goes backwards, does a little 360, and the best bit of all, What's a lovely day, but you know what would make it even better? Having some butter with my freshly toasted bread. Some butter, please. Liz, would you like some butter with your fresh bread? Oh, I'd love some. Here's the knife. Thanks. Some more butter. <laughs> I don't think I've got enough butter with my toast. Let's see. Oh, yes. I wonder where that came from. Thank you for watching my uh, first video. Uh, I've put a lot of effort into this uh, and I'll be doing videos like this probably once every week, once every two weeks at least. Um, so yeah, give me ideas, stupid, fun, I'll pick them all, um, or at least I'll try to. Uh, and yeah, just if you liked it, give it a like, uh, drop a comment, uh, tell me what I should make next, uh, tell your family, tell your friends, yeah, it's 
subscribe. Uh, so yeah, stay safe, stay indoors.